Hello everybody, welcome back to True Colors, our brother just died. <sighs> Ugh. I hate it! Chapter 2, Lanterns. Oh god. I'm not big on speeches. Did they find his body? I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. Aww. I never <laughs> issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before. <laughs> until he came along. Aww. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. Aww. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Aww. Gabe said something that made me laugh. He wrote a list. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. Oh, I'm, I'm sure gonna there cry. Were but I only remember him. And then he said, I know. That's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh. Then the fifth time. Aw, oh, Ducky. He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. Aw, oh, this is he so was sad. A class bullshitter. He was my best friend. To say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger. Oh my god. But he left it his family. It's always the nice guys, isn't it? <sighs> Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe? was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. Oh, really? If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. That's suspicious as fuck, Mac. You're lying. In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Oh, the way to throw me under the bus at my brother's memorial! Oh, no, you! Can we just not talk about this right this fucking second? Jesus Christ.
Oh my god, Orion, stop! He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Right, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. She's got a point, man. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan. Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... Oh, Ryan. I understand where you're coming from, but yeah, now's not the time, baby. We're all grieving in our I'm own way. not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? <gasps> what the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. you shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. What? Could y'all just not, like, can it for five fucking minutes? Why not you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone, out! Alex? At first I thought there was somebody legit at my door. I was like, hey. hey. Fuck those guys. I agree. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, okay is the proper word to describe how I'm feeling right now. Um, hell no. God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Okay, I like her Thanks. more and more. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. <laughs> You're
You were uh, we're on a fuck men stance right now. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. I like Steph a lot. She's really cool and understanding and just chill. Which is what Gabe would try to pop Alex needs. outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. Oh, that's so what the sword is for. He was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. Aww. We're gonna have to do the LARP for him, aren't we? We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? You actually kept it. Aww. Sorry. I just need a minute. Yeah. Uh, no problem. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. It's worth a shot, man. You're already sad. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. Same. Living off these is not great, but it's better than leaving the apartment. One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Gabe. Love that Gabe was going to be part of a LARP. Would have been fun to see. Seemed like an awesome brother. Foosball champion? Why would that make her so sad? Wow. Now I can find out what's really going on with Steph. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Don't They're shit on my yard. Badass. Don't shit on my arm. Or don't shit in, don't shit in my yard. Here 
orders to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? Did they have a thing with each other? Or were they best friends, legit? Like, he seems really upset about her leaving. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? Yeah. And he said he kicked your butt. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. Mm hmm. Gotta play through that grief. Okay. Use the. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm hmm. Ah! Ah! You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. Uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Oh, I'm winning. Gotcha. Ah! No! Should I let her win? Dang it. No. Am I supposed to, like, am I supposed to let her win? I, I, am I supposed to let her win? I don't know, because, like, I feel bad. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No. I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill. If she- if she makes her feel like a shit- Timing. And the will to be a champion. Oh. Is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, 
Playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. Ha ha! Oh, is she gonna up the ante now? Oh! No! No! I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Oh, no, no. I don't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. No! Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Well, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. <laughs> this is hard. Who knew I'd be playing foosball today? Oh, this is hard! In reality, I always have sucked at foosball. No! No! That's bullshit! Oh my god, lies! Oh, come on! Oh, yes! Let's do one more game. Tiebreaker. I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would never let a tie stand. Well, then it's settled. <sighs> Whose ball it is? This is it. For all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on. No matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? Ooh, am I? <laughs> I'll date anybody, assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. Who's what? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. I let her have that one. No! Okay, I did not let her have that one. No! Bullshit! This is hard! Ah yeah! Woo! Foosball champion! Foosball champion! Goddamn <laughs> family! Oh, oh, oh. Thanks. 
this, Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. Aww. It was a lot of fun. Of course. I like you. Kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. Can we kiss now? <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac, he's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. For sure. I've got your back. No matter what. Thanks, Steph. Thank you. You're kind of my new favorite person. A lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. Well, that was eventful. Ugh. And fucking depressing. I know. Hello, everybody. This is Hello Green Eyes. Welcome back to True Colors. I can't stop playing this game today. And we just had a bonding moment with our new friend, Steph potential lover later maybe i don't know anyway let's get back to the game gabe made that call but did mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him i never got to see bartender gabe in action but he left some pretty big shoes to fill can i go in the bathroom no not a choice See? I can be a person. That's how depression is, though, especially with grief. You're like, I could function as a human being. I can't play the guitar again, huh? Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. I just got him back. How can he be gone? Yeah, that's so fucked up. She literally just got back with him after eight years and he was taken away. The kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. I wonder how she's really holding up. I'm sure Charlotte's a mess. Not much to toast at the moment. I gotta clean the dishes. When you lose somebody that you live with, you don't want to, like, touch anything. Because it's, like, the last thing they touched, you know? It's a start. <laughs> okay. That did make me feel a little better. I 
This is a nice little space, you know. Cape really meant the world to Steph. Thank God for this thing. We'd never have found Ethan without it. I wonder how poor Ethan's feeling. I'm sure he feels guilty as hell. I'm glad we didn't end with a tie. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. I never went upstairs before, did I? Oh, no, wait, yeah, I did, because that's the roof was up there, right? Uh... The answer, my friend. Is blowing in the wind. It's nice up here. No birds today. <laughs> Gabe was such a dad. Aww. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that Steph's old band? Drugstore makeup. Hey, that's not a bad band name. How close was Steph to him exactly? I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. This sucks. I'll toss those soon. I swear. Yeah, you, you don't want to get rid of them yet. I understand. Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead? Now she's sitting in the chair without him. It's I not thought this was going to be the one. Finally, despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. Fucking Even sucks. After I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there. And told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now, except you're gone again, and I'm still here, alone. It's so rough. I guess we'll leave. Nothing left for us in here right now.
They wrecked it. They wrecked the wake. Oh, Ryan, you want to go in your room? Take your pirates in your room? And I think we make the fucking noise stop. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Go play. I'll feed y'all in a minute. Y'all can wait. Yeah. Um, pick up this chair. Because, you know, that's a good thing to do. <laughs> and sorry, this part is muted. Uh, the audio really fucked up in this part, so I had to basically improv it myself. Um, I appreciate him apologizing for the wake being jacked, though, because we deserved better than that, dang it, okay? Yeah, hearing a bunch of dudes fight during the wake is not exactly what I wanted, but I do appreciate his apology. Yeah. There's not really a, a good version of what happened. <laughs> you know, you can't make a wake that happy. Some people do the celebration of life thing, which I would want for myself, but it's hard to do that for somebody else. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find... Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. Well, then. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac. Okay. Thanks for looking out for me, but... What else am I supposed to do? Yeah. I wish I had an answer for you. But... If you get a chance before you go all dirty hairy... Swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And what... I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. Aww. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. He's giving her the key to the apartment. This is your home now. For as long as you'd like. Thank you, Jed. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Aww. Thank you. What a good guy. I, I'm sad I didn't like Give him, him at first. <laughs> Give him hell. Yeah, Jed! I have no idea what to even say to him. Uh, thank you for saving Ethan's life. I don't know what I would have done if I'd lost him. Dear Alex, thank you for... He's such an old man, he signs his messages. Aww. Hey Alex, it's Steph. I'm so sorry I loved Gabe. I can only imagine what you're going through. Please call me if you need anything. Alex, I'm so sorry. I'm holding a small service. Thanks, Jed. Glad to hear it. a bunch of condolences that, you know, they're nice, but a year ago I was ready to ditch this place to keep moving like I always do, and a year ago Gabe was the reason I stayed, but even though he's gone now, and even though I miss him like hell, I have a reason to stay. Thanks for showing me that, Alex. Aww, even if your foosball skills could use some work! Hey, I won in the end, didn't I? I didn't want to crush your spirits. Oh, it's so odd. 
Mac Loudon deleted their comment. Yeah, fuck you, Mac. Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ, I bet. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. I wish we'd had more time. Yeah. He looks like he has a mullet there. Gabe Chen. Smooth criminal. Oh, the ticket for the bike ride. They must have been close. Poor Ethan. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go upstairs and see what we could put on the memory table. Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. I'm glad we didn't end with a tie. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. You're coming downstairs. Oh, did I make my choice? I didn't want to make my choice. I don't remember what the other options were. So long, depression food. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Not much to toast at the moment. Yeah. Besides the broom, I don't know what else I could have put down there. There's not a lot of us in this apartment. One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks. This is perfect for the memory table. Yeah, the photo's too personal. Notes. Oh, God. Alex, I'm having a small event for your brother. I'd love for you to be there. Jed. Alex, let me know if you need any groceries. I'll cover the cost, Jed. Thanks, Jed. I'm so sorry. Apartment's yours for as long as you need. You know where to find me if anything comes up, Jed. Jed's a good, like, father figure for her. Good, stable male influence, you know. <laughs> Makes me miss my dad a little, actually. I have something to add to Gabe's table. Mm. 
Because the album was the happiest day of her life. Is that Jed without his beard? Hmm. what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lukin, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just maybe don't cash that check like right now. And he never cashed it. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. Hopefully things around here can settle down again. Yeah. That'd be good. I don't think Jed did anything. RM and TB. I wonder who they were. <laughs> Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. <laughs> Jed's handling it all as well as he can. He's trying to be a good, solid foundation for her. Why am I so emotional? I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Um, it's been like I've recorded this over a couple of days, so I don't know how long this episode is, but I will see you guys next time. Bye.